Hey Aquarius, how are you? I hope that you guys are well. This is Deb here with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I'm here to do your reading. We'll go ahead and shuffle up the deck. This is actually a morning reading. It's early. I was gonna do it later on once the sun came up, but I'm gonna try to get all of them done today, so. Go ahead and shuffle up the decks and get started. This is for Aquarius. Also, if you guys have been enjoying these readings, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Cards. Onions in the way. So I do have an Instagram if you guys would like to follow my Instagram it's in the about section click on the link and if you do want to follow back just send me a DM and just say that you're so tribe member okay one more shuffle So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like you're actually trying to focus on generational wealth and um, your legacy, what, what it is you're gonna have once you leave this plane of existence, okay? And then we got the star right here. This is your card. So you're heading off your card with the star energy. And then the Four of Cups the six of wands the ten of swords the six of cups the lovers card and the five of cups okay so Aquarius it looks like you're standing your power you're actually healing you're doing the work that you need to do is what it's looking like and you might really just feel reserved or feel kind of like not interested in a lot of things that have been going on around you and it's probably because right now you're in a celebratory energy you're winning right now you're feeling like you're on top of the world there was an ending that happened I'm not sure if you ended the situation or someone else did it could have been someone in the past or some situation in the past. It could have been with a lover. But that's definitely left some type of regret or remorse. So we'll get clarification and see what that is about. What's the star card for Aquarius? So we got the Empress at the bottom. The Sun card went all the way over here. The Two of Wands. The King of Wands. And the Ace of Chalice. The Hierophant Reverse. The Eight of Wands Reverse. Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords Reverse, Judgment Reverse, the Knave of Wands Reverse, and the Strength Card Reverse. Quite a few 
cards for one card. Let's go through. Okay, so with the healing and standing your power, I feel like you're starting to see that your life is much better. You're more happier. You feel more balanced. Um, your conscience feels clear here. You've made a decision on what is going to be your happiness. So you're no longer allowing someone else to define it, right? This is confidence. So it's like you took the path of conf confidence. You took the path to standing your power. And then you got the ace of chalice. So that shows a lot of self-love. So now it's like you're loving people from the overflow. The hermit card reverse. I feel like in the past you had to go into hermit, but now it seems like you're coming out of hermit energy. So you're more like when it comes to like communicating with people, if it's someone that you feel is on the same level as you, I feel like you will talk to them. But people that are not, you're not willing to talk to them with the eight of wands reversed. And then we got the seven of pentacles. So that's like harvest looking at your investments. So you're seeing that some investments were good, some were not getting rid of those bad investments anything that was not truth anything did not give you clarity with the ace of swords reverse you're getting rid of that so you've already judged it there's no reason for you to go back over it you've just already made a final judgment and you don't see that this is going to be something that you can have a venture with or something exciting you don't see it as exciting anymore and you also feel like um, a lot of a lot of situations basically took advantage of you and they didn't see your strength okay so that's why we got the four cups right here and that's what what you're doing when you're kind of not looking at situations in the past okay. what's the four cups three of cups this is the only thing that you are looking to do celebrate with family friends people that actually have love for you and people that don't want to show love to themselves or show love true love you're not interested in it because so we got the two of swords so it's like you don't even really want to pay attention you're not looking that way you're putting a blindfold to it what's this card Okay, so the knave of swords reversed. There's no reason to do any study or research or figuring out anything. You've already found out all the information that you need to find out. And it's like, there, there is people that are trying to come back that left, that walked away. But I don't see that you're looking towards reconnecting with them. And it's because there might be a feminine energy might be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse but this person is not doing good financially so that's why they want to come back and then we got Cancer Scorpio Pisces reverse so this person is not very loving they're not very kind they don't have self-love and this is what the, they did the Knight of Chalice but now it's in reverse so it's like they held back from you a lot of times. They didn't show emotions. So now you're rejecting that. And this Ace of Wands. At one time you felt like this person was a gift. You felt like they were meant to help you with your creativity, but not anymore. Okay. You're starting to win on your own, Six of Wands. What's the clarify? We got the devil card. The Knight of Swords Reverse. The Four of Swords. The Chariot card. The Five of Wands.
the Eight of Wands, the King of Chalice Reverse, and these are all reverse. These two were right here anyway. The Three of Wands and the World card. Okay. So now it's like these people that were gossiping or saying things about you, now it's like they're eating their words because everything that they said, they probably said, you're gonna fail, you're gonna lose, you're not gonna win, you're actually winning right now. So they don't have anything to say about you anymore. Now these people are sick. <laughs> Literally, they might be sick, okay? I'm not laughing about the literal part, but um, the fact that, you know, they, they're eating their words and these people need to get some healing. So, you're moving on, you know, with the cherry card, your balance, your focus, you have a lot of protection. And you're leaving all this conflict and confusion, people trying to compete with you. You no longer want to be entrapped, feeling encaved in your mind, confused. Um, there's a possibility that someone tried to get you locked up, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. And this is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy too, but this is the masculine, so it could have been a, a male masculine or a father figure at one time that you loved, but this person maybe did something to portray you too. So now you're waiting. You're waiting for your ships to come in, you're waiting for your what it is that you manifested. You're waiting on the world, the universe, to come through for you. Well, we got this devil energy lingering around, so let's see what's going on with the Ten of, ten of Swords. I feel like you've already put it to death, but let's get clarification. Um, the Six of Pentacles. Okay. What's this? Yeah, Nine of Chalice. Okay. So this that devil energy that we've seen, you traded it in for your wish fulfillment now. And with the Ten of Swords, you're, I feel like you're not going to come back from that. It's over with. It's the end of that. So now you're focusing on your wish fulfillment and working with people that are willing to give you an even give and take. Okay, so we got the Six of Cups right here. So let's do clarification for The devil showed up again. Yeah, this was this past energy keeps wanting to linger, but it's like you're purposely leaving it out in the cold with the four of pentacles and the knave of pentacles. And the breakdown of it is basically you're holding on to your finances. If this person is financially, if they're asking you for finances, you're not going to give to them. You know what I'm saying? You're, if anything, you're probably giving them advice. And telling them what to do with their money but you're not going to financially help this person or these people if it's multiple people because you see that they're toxic you know they, they don't use their energy for the correct thing so you're deciding that you're not going to enable them okay. what's the lover's card look seven of swords so this person was a liar they um definitely were sneak try to be sneaky they try to get away with stuff they were very deceptive and this was on the, the lover's card that we pulled so this person probably pretended like they had love for you just to get something out of you their whole motive was to get some type of finances but they never truly had love in their heart is what i'm feeling okay what's the five of cups deception to the king of pentacles you're the king of pentacles i feel like aquarius you could have capricorn Scorp scorpio or taurus in your chart but yeah that's what they were trying to do like i said they were trying to take money from you 
and now they see that they can't do that with the five of cups it's not gonna happen you've already caught on to game and you're letting it go okay so this has been your reading aquarius i hope that you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i would definitely appreciate the energy exchange and until next time have a good rest of your day deuces